let us start with few basics of game theory. We will start with the normal form representation of games. It's very simple. So in the normal form representation of game, there will be number of players which will be specified. In this game, there are two players. One is prisoner one, another is prisoner two. Second thing is that the normal form game will also specify the strategies which are available to both of these players. For example, you have to prisoner one, there are two strategies which are available. One is mum, other is pink. For prisoner two also, there are two strategies which are available. One is mum, other is pink. Pink means what? You have to inform the authorities about someone like that, right? Okay, so I will write a simple definition of normal form game. Please write in a normal form game. So in this class, we are not solving the game. We are just representing the game, right? In a normal form representation, and uh, you will be writing whatever I'm writing on the board or what I have already written on the board, representation. of a game each player choosing a strategy and combination of strategies combination of strategies chosen by the players determines a payoff for each player. It means a payoff for each player. In a normal form representation of a game, each player choosing a strategy. So if prisoner one is choosing mum and prisoner two is also choosing mum, then this combination of strategies, which prisoner one and prisoner two has chosen, it is going to determine the payoff to each player. So these numbers which we have written in the box, they are the payoffs. So I'm prisoner one, you guys are prisoner two. And if both of, both of us remain mum, we will be, police will have no evidence against us and they can only put, uh, they can only put us in the jail for one, one year. Right. But if I remain mum and you think, so police will say, fine, since you have helped police, they will set you free, but they will put me in jail for nine years. If I think and you remain mum, then I have helped police, I will be set free and you will be going for nine years in jail. And the interesting point is that if both of us think, then both of us will be given a jail term of only six years. Uh, right now, of course, I'm, I know and I'm, I'm sure that most of you also know the answer to the game. But uh, right now, I'm not solving the game. I'm just telling you. So the first number which we have written is for the player one. The second number which we have written here is for the is for the player two. But you have to understand that I will get minus one only if you have chosen mum. I will get nine years in jail if only if you have chosen to think. So the combination of strategies is going to determine what is going to be the payoff, right? what is going to be the payoff. So 
A normal form game is going to specify, it specifies the player in the game, the players in the game. The players in the game, second. The strategies. available each player and the payoffs received by each player. And the payoffs received by each player. So this is a normal form. And the payoffs are going to be dependent upon what strategy you are choosing and what strategy I am choosing. What strategy you are choosing and what strategy I am choosing. Right. So we should also know how to write the definition for the normal form game uh, uh, formally. So you will have to know the formal way of writing the definition. Right. Suppose there are n players, in our game there are two players, so n is equal to uh, n is equal to this guy uh, 2, capital SI denotes the strategies available to player i right so for player 1 in our game there are two strategies which are available what is that mum and fink small si is the member Of this set of this set means this capital SI, right? Okay. So small SI is belonging to capital SI. So capital SI, capital SI is mum and fink. Small SI is just mum or just me or just fink, right? Right. Uh, let S1 small S1. Small s2, right, and so on to small sn denote the strategies, denote the, the combination. of strategies available right strategies available uh, for each player one i mean strategies as you denote the combination of strategies one for each player right and let ui denote Player I's payoff function. Okay, na? Ab jase player one hai. Now player one will be getting this minus one only when player two is also going to play mum. 
So player one is going to get minus one when player one is going to play mum. But it will be he will be getting minus one only if player two also plays mum. Otherwise, it won't get right. So you this I'm writing like this because when you will read any game theory book, you should understand what is the meaning of all of these things. Is the payoff? player i if the players chose the strategies Smallest, only smallest, smallest. Right. So the point is, say if you want to write the normal form game definition, so you will write, okay, what are the different strategies available and what are the different payoff functions, payoff functions which are there. So it was a technical because game padenge ab aap, uh, you will read some game theory book. So everything should start making sense to you. The normal form, or koi badi baat to hai nahi, jo humne samjha hai, bas usi ko thoda sa mathematical tarikhe se likhne hai, nothing else. The normal form representation of n player game So humare case mein Two player game specifies players' strategies are two player strategies are mum fing, mum fing. So capital S1 is mum and fing, capital S2 is also mum and fing. Strategies, strategy spaces spaces capital S one, capital S two, and so on to capital S N and their payoff functions. And their payoff functions U1, U2, and so on to UN, right? And we denote this game Rika. Function payoff bhi to hoga na. So individual one will have the equity function u1. But I will be getting u1 depending upon matlab, whatever payoff I'll be getting is also dependent upon what strategy which you are choosing, right? We denote this game by G. So these are the strategy sets which are available to the end players. And these are the payoff functions which are available to the n players. Now, if you look at it carefully, you'll find this that in the normal form game, you have to understand this that what we write is that the players they chose their strategy simultaneously. Now, what do we don't mean by choosing simultaneously that they are choosing at the same time? What what exactly mean means they are acting simultaneously. This is not what the what 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 it means. So, for example, when prisoner one is keeping mum, then prisoner two is also keeping mum. That they are in the separate room, right? Uh, so, what suffices is that his or her actions 
are each player's action are without the knowledge of the other players. That is the point. Uh, so, I mean, they can be reacting at different times. So, prisoners can be reacting at different times. But whether I am keeping mum or I am thinking this, you don't know whether uh, when you want to keep mum or think. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? My strategies, I'll be choosing. Your strategies, you'll be choosing. What do we mean by choosing simultaneously is that it is done without the knowledge of the others, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that we are acting simultaneously. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? So, right? so we write it like this, that the players chose their strategy simultaneously. But what exactly we mean is it is not necessary that they're acting simultaneously. What we mean is that they are taking their actions without the knowledge of the others, right? Uh, that each chose his or her actions without the knowledge of the other's choices. That is the point, right? So, okay. So this is the first uh, recording in the game theory basics. It's a normal form representation. Note that we have not solved the game yet. We have to solve it when we will evolve uh, the different uh, uh, equilibrium concepts. You will understand that. Uh, so slowly and gradually. Point is that after doing uh, these classes, if you want to read any book, you should be able to understand whatever is going on. Achha, one thing is that uh, the reference references given us hmm? chapter one. It's a beautiful book, very concise. And uh, this is the book which we will be using. This is the reference. Okay, so I thought, um, so I hope that uh, this will be some use to you. Thank you, Vidal.